Well, good morning, everybody. Jeff Slakey and Spencer Hughes here on the Daybreak Show, and we welcome in via the phone. It's Central Mason Fire and EMS Chief Mike Patty, also Shelton Fire Marshal. How you doing, buddy? Fine, Jeff. Thanks for having me on this morning. Well, it's good to have you on as we are right up against the Independence Day holiday. All week long, the uh, stands have been open for folks to uh, buy the fireworks uh, outside of the city of Shelton city limits. And this year is going to be a real uh, unique one with coronavirus as you and I have talked over the years how the push has been on to get people to go to these large scale professional displays. Now, with those not readily available as much, folks are likely to scale back and uh, hopefully be be safe while they're while they're out there. What what are you looking at this this summer in particular? And what are some what's some advice for folks in the city of Shelton and then all throughout the county? Well, it's going to be really tough this year, Jeff, with uh, there's not much of a choice for public displays this year because, frankly, there are none. So uh, outside the city, uh, people are going to be buying fireworks and shooting them outside the city limits, uh, plus the restrictions now of having to wear the, the face masks and, and the social distancing. So people are going to have to be real cognizant of, of the face, wearing the face masks and, and being socially distant. But the, uh, the uh, common sense requirements of, you know, having an adult shooting off your fireworks, having... Uh, uh, somebody there who uh, uh, will watch out for the dead fireworks and not coming up close to them if they don't go off, having an adult shoot them off uh, are still going to apply. And uh, having two uh, tribal reservations within close proximity to our county, uh, remembering that there are state legal fireworks that are purchased at the fireworks stands, uh, versus those fireworks that are bought on tribal properties that are legal on the tribal properties, but not legal off the tribal properties. Uh, we have to be cognizant of that also. Throughout the week, Spencer and I have been talking about this in the sense that, I, and I see what you're saying between tribal land and county land or tribal land and city land, but even within the area of the city of Shelton, there are portions that are you know, right across the street, you're in the county. And I, and I know over the years that this has turned into when folks have to, uh, either they engage with law enforcement or not, it's more of an educational campaign, uh, over the last couple of years. But as we've looked to with the dryness in our areas, how is that playing a factor? I I don't think we've had a chance to talk about wildfire season as well this year. No, we've been fairly lucky, and it's been kind of a uh, cooler season this year. But this week has been uh, fairly dry, and we're looking at a uh, warmer and drier Fourth of July than we've had in years past. So we're a little cautious this year in, in what what is in store for us. Uh, and also on the educational side of it, I've talked to uh, Chief Moody, and I've talked to uh, Sheriff Salisbury, and they're also being uh, a little cautious as well. And when I talked to Chief Moody about what kind of a stance the Shelton Police Department are taking this year, they will remain in an education uh, mode. But if we have a, a lot of flagrant violations as far as the fireworks enforcement, they will take a uh, uh, an enforcement stance this year. So... Uh, chances are you're going to see some citations being written if we have some flagrant violations. We understand, too, of course, as you mentioned, with the social distancing and uh, the mask wearing can uh, inhibit a person's ability perhaps to uh, see whether or not the fireworks fully uh, went off before they are put into the bucket of water. Uh, Those masks can uh, also get hot and uh, I'm sure have some sort of smoke problem as well as it gets kind of in your mask maybe or in your eyes. So you, people have to definitely watch out about that. You, you said have the bucket there, have the have the parents uh, there um, to to be the ones to to launch this off. Every year there's stories across the country of, of tragedy that strikes when folks play with these fireworks outside of their recommended use, which is – 
light and get away. Correct. And, and every year, uh, the fire service, the folks in the fire service, we, we see and we hear the stories of the casualties, both the uh, injuries and, and, yes, we do have deaths as related to uh, even the consumer fireworks. And uh, that's certainly something that we don't want to witness or, or even have occur here in Mason County. Uh, one person being injured and, uh, or dying in, in Mason County is one person too much. I've been seeing some releases from the state fire marshal, uh, just reminding folks to be extra cautious out there. Uh, and again, after after this year, I guess it's really going to be up. We're just going to have to reassess where we are. But do you think that the it will be still a, a re-push to head back to large group gatherings for the safety of the fireworks or... Or do you think that this year will kind of continue on down the road? Well, you know, with along with everything else that we've experienced since uh, COVID has come into uh, come into our new normal, I I, I just don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going to uh, what the new normal is going to look like. Whether we're going to have uh, large gatherings and, and public displays of fireworks, I just. I wish we had a crystal ball as to look like what 2021 is even going to look like. Uh, it's it's hard to say. I know that uh, even Alderbrook, who is going to have a fireworks display, is even restricted uh, who will be able to attend that. Uh, having no forest festival this year has certainly put a damper on things for us. So. Mm. It's just going to be interesting to see what what 2021 is going to look like for us. State Fire Marshal's office have some numbers back in 2019. 269 injuries were reported. That's up 30 percent. 80 fires were reported due to fireworks, about a half a million dollars in loss. 98 injuries were caused by holding on to fireworks after lighting them. And then 51 of the 80 fires right around the 4th of July classified as wildland or vegetation uh, fires there. So that's kind of a look at what the state fire marshal's office has been reporting from 2019. Central Mason Fire and EMS Chief Mike Patty, also Shelton Fire Marshal on the line now talking to us about this weekend and how we can remain safe. Mike, it was really good to talk with you and uh, glad to hear that uh, you guys are uh, still continuing uh, to keep your eyes, of course, on wildfire season, which we are in the middle of, as well as as what could happen here this weekend with the 4th of July. It's always uh, always a pleasure to be on uh, to talk to you guys, and uh, I appreciate the time you give us. Good talking to you, buddy, and uh, have a good 4th. And, and yeah, we'll see, you, we'll see you in studio before too long, hopefully. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks a lot, Jeff. All right, Mike. Take care. We'll see you.